time lift, not even late to even bring out the program by now. Hmm. I was just uh, mentioning to Alero some of the conversation at Chatham House um, in London recently where people were saying that the calendar, the timeline is too tight and that a lot of people would expect that it will be easier for people to start campaigning a lot earlier. What's your thought about that? And what I'm saying that I make ought to have even brought this timetable earlier than now. I, because the election is already fixed for 2015. Mm -hmm. So everything is now in between months. From now to that designated period. And remember that election, a post-election quarrels is part of the problem. Yes. So we have to give, give a clear way. For, for that all that to, to happen. Yes. yes. So that's why they are like seen in that tight situation. So ordinarily, if they are brought it late last year, people will say, oh, why bother us with election issues when election is almost one year ahead? But now they came early in, in January, and then people are saying uh, it's tight. Started. Yes. Yes. So that is the, the problem. Let's look at the example of the law school. If you come into the law school, as you are picking your form, you already know your exit point. You already know everything. And you follow that program religiously to the end. If Nigerians will emulate that calendar system from the law school, there's no need to complain. Because it's about seeing this thing. I say, okay, let us do what the calendar says. If we have any issue with some points in the calendar, it's timely to point them out. So to me, uh, the import of... Um, this election calendar is divided into at least three segments. Look at the segment of preparatory. Things that will happen before the election. Issues of nomination, issues of uh, campaign, of uh, registration of voters. <laughs> so these are major segments of pre-election issues. And then remember that in this resolution aspect of it, there are two arms. The first arm is the pre-election matters and post-election matters. The pre-election matters have no <coughs> time limit to agitate. So if the INEC is not carefully managing the pre-election matters, they will affect the post-election issues. At the time you finish the election, disputes arising from the pre-election pre issues mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. will bog the system because mm -hmm. those ones don't have time limit. And they have to go through all the way to the normal courts, not election uh, tribunal courts, to the Supreme Court. You know? Okay. okay. Uh, Post-election disputes, for instance, there have been debates and debates and debates regarding the time span within those disputes should be settled. And some people are still insisting that those things should be sorted out before the swearing-in of whoever. And whoever is not bogged down after they've been sworn in and cases of them being, um, what's the word, ousted yeah. after they have been sworn in because somebody else has won the case at the tribunal. So to prevent all those kinds of things, um, what, what do you think about that suggestion? You see, the, that has been a very major debate uh, all over. And um, there are two schools of thought. One school of thought is saying that why disturb people's rights to fair hearing? That... Uh, speedy justice also don't guarantee quality justice. That if you put the system so close, everybody is looking at time, not the substance of the dispute. Mm -hmm. So they will make sure that they will use technicalities to frustrate true justice. And then time would have passed and justice would not be done to mm -hmm. the aggrieved party. How much time is good enough time for people to say, long enough for campaign, long enough for uh, tribunals, and long enough for us to prepare for the swearing-in ceremony. Uh, that's why I'm saying that. It is it's, it's, it's not because it's like an ad hoc arrangement now. It, these three issues are supposed to be structured properly and given sufficient time. Mm -hmm. Because... Um, yeah, he's saying what is sufficient yes, time? What is sufficient time in the circumstance? Uh, the 90-day rule, Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, it's sufficient. But given the Nigerian legal system, that issues of appeal, mm -hmm. issues of constitutionality, of, uh, issue, you know, those technicalities are so much, and it's our constitutional rights, that now 
bring about the problem. Look at the problem that you should have terminated the election matters at the court of appeal, like the issue of uh, governorship penalty. We saw the problem that it brought into the polity. It overheated the system. They felt that the court of appeal was too powerful and that the Supreme Court, which is the apex court, is no longer having power to re regulate that aspect of dispute, whereas the Constitution grant guarantees that the last stage of 